I'm Anthony from HashtagNet, and this is Lord Draken, or Tommy Oliver if you like, from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection that is being produced by Hasbro, and uh, he is, uh, he's, he's decently looking. I, I have to say, I enjoy the Lord Draken storyline going on in the comic books right now, and uh, I like the concept that uh, Tommy merges the powers of the Green and White Ranger together, but of course he's a bad guy. And uh, if you get the Battle of the Grid video game, you can actually see the evolution of Lord Draken. Uh, but uh, to show you the figure, uh, he is he's nice. First off, Hasbro has this concept where everything has to have a, a, a foot sh shimmy like this. I, 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 and I'm like, okay, I get it. Stylistically, you want to be able to pose. Now, this toy is, is a $20 retail. Legs come out like this. Uh, he does not twist at his legs like uh, other figures might. You can see the lines here, but they're just simply glued together. Uh, but he, he has a lot of uh, range, and you can do things like this. His arms can go out like this. Uh, you can't apparently lift his arms up on that one, or this one very much. Uh, they do bend. The wrists do rotate. I should say, but but uh, I'll show you w why they rotate the way they do momentarily. Uh, but it's not like a combined piece or anything. And then, of course, his head can do the, the 360. And uh, as you see, like, um, his, his belt, where the little uh, morpher is, is actually the Lord Draken symbol, which is kind of like the white tiger symbol with this horn in the middle, which is what you see right here. And uh, he comes apart. A twenty-dollar figure, of course, he he does. Uh, his hands come off, and they're they're not easy to come off, which is probably a good point. And his head comes off. What have we here? No way. I'll let you drive when monkeys fly. <laughs> nice ride. <laughs> Bring it back with a full tank. So here's what comes with him. Tommy's head, which just looks angry, like he constipated maybe. Uh, a blast effect, because everything Hasbro releases has to have a blast effect. It's like punch and pie. Alternate fists. Uh, this is the left, this is the right, or vice versa. Uh, no, this is the left, this is the right. Uh, anyway, uh, punching and grabbing. And then, of course, the, the dragon dagger, which uh, I don't know how well I can show this, but it has the dragon symbol on it, too. But you still uh, whistle into it, or whatever, you know, some of the dragon sword, I guess. But uh, I'm going to really quickly do this. Now, his head comes off really easy, which means if you're getting this for kids, they're probably going to lose the head. Uh, but my problem is getting the regular head on is a pain in the butt. But once it's on there, it's on there, but I cannot seem to get it on there. You can see it clearly goes in there. Ugh, and I'm trying not to apply too much force, but it's being a jerk. Anyway, we're just going to put the other head back on because it comes on really easy. All right. So then the hands also replace. Ugh. And the hands do want to come out. Ugh, there we go. And... Uh, Throw this guy in. There you go. Now he has two grabby hands. And then, of course, you can hold the dagger. Now, the blast effect, it has a weird application. They kind of want you to throw it, like, on here. Because there's no ports anywhere. It just has this little stabby thing, so you can put it at the end. Um, I guess because maybe in the car a comic book, the dagger shoots off blast effects. I, I honestly don't know. But, uh, that, that's primarily, like, I mean, you look at it, there are no parts. It's not like you can put it on your G.I. Joe's or your Transformers, either. They make it strictly to go on the end of this particular sword. So you're telling me there are no shields? Ah, uh, like, no, man. Well, what does it have? Like, a groovy flux capacitor? And it can travel anywhere through time and space. Does it come in black? So let's see if we can do some type of creative posing here. Let's see if I can get him to whistle into here, maybe, or I don't know. Let's let's see what we can do here. Let's 
It's like, oh, if we can get him to do a, like a kneeling pose. Like, oh, oh, I have fallen and I cannot get up. 80s reference, anybody? Okay, um, what's another one? Um, let's get him into a battle pose. Here we go. That looks menacing. Don't want to steal his dragon. <laughs> but, uh, and then of course, if you don't want to use the dagger, you can stick it in his holster. It's all holsterific. But that is pretty much what Lord Draken has to offer. It, I mean, if you're a collector of, of the Power Rangers, I mean, go for it. I have a, um, a classic Bandai, I think it's Bandai, um, Gold Ranger, which I really love. And then, I, of course, I have two Beetleborgs, which, uh, if you may remember, during the 90s, they crossed over with the Power Rangers. So, you uh, see they're all pretty much on the same scale. Uh, there we go. Now he's looking at something at the ground. Something is on the ground. Haha. <laughs> and uh, anyway, tell me what you think of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. But you can find it most retailers for around twenty dollars. And uh, don't forget to to like and subscribe. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledge.net and our website at hasledge.net.